You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go early in this round. Cyril Gaon, the former UFC interim heavyweight champion, and most of the heavyweights will tell you he is one of the more difficult big guys to prepare for because he moves like a little guy. And certainly in our fighter meeting with Gaon this week, he talked a lot about being light on his feet, staying on the outside of the power punches of his opponent, and uh, a lot of these heavyweights have had a hard time finding that kill shot against Cyril Gaon. Well, a few heavyweights move as well as the former interim champ, Cito Gan, and you see the footwork right away as this fight gets started. Yeah, the footwork leads to the jab. The guy does a great job of moving into you, and then he pops you. And then the moment you start to rush, he drops the big right hand on you. Cito Gan is a hard, hard closer to solve, especially as you go up in weight classes. Heavyweights don't move like Cyril Gan, and you can see that as we watch him right now. Now going to the body with that hook. Nicely done there by Gaon. Oh, beautifully placed shot to the leg. Quick jab. Oh, how good is that elbow? Shades of my man Kenny Florian landing that thing in tight, and we'll see if he goes back to the wall with it later in the fight. When you're chest to chest, you gotta be a bit creative, and throwing elbows like that one will allow for you to get in the lead in the fight. Some nice back and forth action here. Try to establish that jab. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Two minutes have gone by here in round one. Pavlovich gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed and placed. Out of range with that one. Pavlovich is now switching his stance. So we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots because the swelling's starting now, and it's light. But if he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. Oh, and he goes for the hook. Now it's good. Gon's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Two minutes now to go in round one. Gon gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. He cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. His misses are entertaining. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round and really starting to do some appreciable damage to his opponent's lead leg. Well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blow, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the two. There it is again. Look at that. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You got to address this now because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not going to let you, let you off the hook. You've got to move. You've got to change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. These boys are standing right in front of each other just kind of going at it. Oh, 
Oh, he just missed on that overhand. Oh, round two straight ahead. Oh. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cottonman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. Gom's elbow attempt here, blocked by the defense. And there it is again, targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You doled out all this damage. Might as, go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not going to move his head. He's still trying to go out on the shield. He, he's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. Great job by Sido Gandhi. Use his feet to get inside and land the jab. A lot of people are going to be trying to take this guy down, but he moves so well. People talk about Sido Gandhi as if he moves like a welterweight. No, he moves more like a bantamweight. We have always talked about guys moving well at 135. Sido Gandhi moves like one of those guys at heavyweight. That's why he presents so many problems. And not only does he have that beautiful jab, he possesses a ton of power that can put you up. She's got a blue starting to go. Oh, huge right hand. Oh, that's big. Oh, a big left hand. Oh, big elbow. He's moving. It's a take shot. Now, take shot. with his attack here tonight and offensively I think his approach leaves a lot to be desired. Gotta figure out a way. Address something defensively, there is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ. Perhaps it's. Oh, 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 oh. Pavlovich gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landing those nice, beautiful punches. Gotta see a takedown. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. All right, so the ref is going to step in here and call on the doctor to look at what is a now mangled nose. This could be the end of the fight. It could be the end of the fight. There's a lot of blood. The blood's going down into the mouth. I mean, the nose could be broken. He still seems spirited and mentally in this fight, and to that end, to that end, the doctor will allow him to continue, at least for now. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so the ref will get the action back underway after that brief health and safety check. And to no one's surprise, the fans support the decision for the action to continue. Absolutely. I mean, this official decided you can go. Even though at times the fighter may question whether or not he can do it, we have very smart ringside officials that make a determination. The determination is 
Get your butt out there and fight. Let's see what happens. And we have a very smart fighter who is going to have to start protecting that injury to prevent it from getting any worse. Well, no feeling out process tonight, folks. TKO here. That's it. With a huge TKO victory. Yo, wow. That was nasty. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's going to be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. And we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, nine seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO! So good!